Hey, what's up guys? I'm Apache King and welcome back to another video. In this video, I have some Infinite Warfare news. And today I'm going to be going over the DLC map packs, pre-order bonuses and some details on the Modern Warfare remaster. So starting off, it's been announced and you might have guessed this, that the map packs for Infinite Warfare will be first about 30 days early on the PlayStation 4. Oh yeah, and by the way, Infinite Warfare won't be on last gen consoles, it will only be on current gen. Which, you know, take a look at Black Ops 3 and last gen and it, you know, it's a good thing that it's not, to be honest. But anyway, uh, there's this quote as well and it says, more, de more details about multiplayer and a new Zombies experience will be announced at a later date. For now, we're excited to say that PS4 owners will get DLC map packs 30 days early, so plan your upcoming holiday season weekends carefully. And this will most likely be like this for the next two years maybe for the next two years of call of duty because uh they have i think it's like a four year contract i'm not exactly how long sure but it's like this contract with sony so for the next few call of duties at least maybe even more you know that you get the map packs early but then 30 days later it comes out for pc and the xbox one so moving on to the pre-order bonus and that is that if you pre-order infinite warfare digitally so for example on the playstation store i think that's the only way you can do it digitally to be honest uh, unless there's some sort of digital code you can get with gamestop i'm not quite sure and you can also get this at retail as well at retailers to get some cod points in bo3 in black ops 3 so like i said if you pre-order infinite warfare you get it you get this um cod these cod points um for black ops 3 worldwide so if you you know get it on at retailers or the playstation store and this applies to the playstation 4 the xbox one and the pc so let's go through the list and i'll have it on screen as well so for steam if you pre-order you get a thousand cod points bonus to use in black ops 3 for xbox live digital you you know you get a thousand as well for playstation store you get the same there is amazon us i'm not sure whether you get cod points though it doesn't say so i'm not 100 percent sure maybe there's some other bonus i'm not quite sure but it, at gamestop you get 500 and a two-sided poster which is quite cool and in the us the infinite warfare legacy pro edition is available is available at exclusively at gamestop and in game uk which is a kind of like a gamestop but in england uh you get 500 cod points and just like gamestop you get a two-sided poster which by the way this offer ends on june the 13th so basically about a month so if you want to pre-order and get these extra cod points i'd recommend doing it now and now on to my final news story and that is about the one warfare remaster or cod 4 remaster and some details on it so there's some questions and answers that i'll go through so it's been confirmed that your stats on Call of Duty 4 will not be a, will not be transferable to the remastered version, which is it is kind of good in a way because then at least you'll be starting again rather than if you transfer your stats over, you'll just be bored. You know, I mean, you can still play it, but you wouldn't really be getting, you wouldn't really be having fun unlocking all the stuff and you know leveling up all over again. As you can see, there's a question that says, "Will my stats from the original Call of Duty 4: Modern Warfare carry over to Call of Duty: Modern Warfare Remastered?" And the answer is no, your stats from the original Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare will not carry over to Call of Duty Modern Warfare Remastered. And in addition to that, the support article on the Call of Duty website for Modern Warfare Remastered says that it will only be available if you get the Infinite Warfare's Legacy, Digital Legacy, Digital Deluxe or Legacy Pro Edition. So it's not available as a standalone game, which kind of sucks to be honest. But I don't know, if you're that bothered about this remaster, then you'll have to get one of those editions. Also, this COD 4 remaster will allow full multiplayer progression, including ability to reach Master Prestige, unlock weapon attachments, and more. So there's actually Master Prestige now, which is quite cool. Before it was just, you know, maximum level Prestige 10, whereas now there's actual proper Prestige Master. So yeah, that's pretty cool. And the good news is that the movement system in cod 4 will be the original like the original movement system you know feet, boots on the ground no hovering or you know exosuits or anything like that and there's also dedicated servers and i think that's on all platforms i don't think it's just on you know pc i think it is literally all platforms that have that uh, they have dedicated servers which is really cool it means less lag 
well it should mean less lag let's hope so and yeah that's pretty much it for this video guys thanks very much for watching i hope you enjoyed and i'll see you in my next video